What's up guys, I'm Catherine and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going thrifting at my favorite spot, World Thrift in South Florida. Iconic, if you haven't been, add it to the top of your list because it is worth the trip. I saw Sarah Dunk, Haley's Corner, they all went on a trip like the week before the pandemic and I wasn't living in Florida at the time, but I saw that they literally came to South Florida to go to those thrift stores and now I go to them like twice a week. But I am going to be thrifting an iconic Pinterest outfit and if you're watching this, I already have and you might have already seen it. So buckle in, we are going to the thrift store and I'm gonna show you guys what's up. guys I am back from the thrift and I'm going to show you what I got um if you can't see she's already hiding over here but for this outfit I really wanted something that is super trendy I have a puffer over here I'll show you I have this red puffer I got this at LF I don't know if you don't know what that was it's a store that they have it's like super expensive which is like really dumb but a few years ago before I went abroad I got this puffer because I didn't know if I'd be going anywhere cold and I didn't have anything and I got this on sale I think it was like two or three hundred bucks and I got it for like 75 which is a good deal but still way overpriced now that I thrift I'm like I don't understand how anybody buys anything regular priced I, I can't even fathom it sometimes I order things and I'm like oh, you're gonna charge me twenty dollars <laughs> like I get offended but I'm gonna share with you guys so first up I got this Uniqlo amazing did I stain it oh my god I think I did but I got this Uniqlo like ashy blue puffer coat it's pretty big it's an xl i wish i could have like obviously if there was another one i would have gotten a large but it's oversized in like a really cute way and i've been seeing these obviously all over pinterest like the big down obviously you've seen all over the board they've the north face the color jackets everything they're all over pinterest right now and i get it because it is trendy but i also i'm like puffers have always been cool like now everybody's just like declaring that puffers are cool again which like okay here for it but i'm gonna show you guys what else i got anyway also if i didn't mention i got the uniqlo um puffer for 12.99 maybe 14 actually and then i got these blue north face sneakers north face sneakers north face sneakers <laughs> These are women, so they're not as chunky as I would like, but I also really love the color, and I think they're just overall kind of cute. Um, I've never really thrifted sneakers. I know that's kind of unheard of, because I feel like a lot of people thrift shoes, but I've like thrifted a couple pairs of heels, but I've never thrifted sneakers, and World Thrift has a really good collection. If you go on the 50% days, you can get there early in the morning, which I did this day. I got there about 10, they opened at 9, and they had these babies, which look almost brand new, which I'm just gonna say, whoever donated these, Thank you, girl, because I'm excited. I got these also for $12. They were 50% off. But the color, the vibe, like, come on. You know it's good. All right, next stop. This is good. I got a dream. A dream. Like, the best Levi pants I could have ever thrifted in my life. Got a red tab. These are literally the best Levi jeans I've ever thrifted in my life. I've thrifted, a, like, quite a few pairs of Levi's and they're always not one the right shade two they're really big at the waist and tight at the hip which is like tough for me because i'm like well what do you want me to do but these are a size 34 um waist and 30 length i'm actually usually a 36 waist but i guess not i got these they're a little snug but you know your jeans you want your jeans to be like a size down so they fit you nice and they're not baggy because jeans do stretch but this color also, like these are the perfect light wash jeans. I don't want to hear anything about it. It's got the amazing little vintage tab and it's also like in pretty good, pretty good shape. Um, I can't find anything wrong with these jeans either. They're the perfect length because I'm really short. So I went into the thrift store really looking for jeans that I could bleach or paint and I found these on accident. I can't even imagine. I think I paid 
maybe $9.99, which like is so, so cheap for everyone in the world. But because a lot of the jeans I typically thrift are like $2.99 or $3.99, I was like, oh, do I bite the bullet? Do I do it? Do I not? I try to give myself like a $30 window. I got a text. I try to give myself like a $30 window so I don't overspend, especially if I go once a week. I don't want to be spending $100 a week on clothes. At least I'm trying not to. But these jeans, like are you kidding? So yeah, these are the 530s. I don't know. I usually look for, I think, 505s. But these are the most perfect jeans I've ever put on my body in my life. So I'm going to show you guys in a minute. All right. And last, I got these Rustler jeans. When I was in California, um, my friends and I were in a little thrift, like vintage shop. And she got a Rustler denim jacket, which I thought was sick. That's like such a cool thrift find. Like, that's cool. And these are also Rustler. I really like the vintage tag. I just think overall it's got a lot of personality. But also I was looking for dark denim jeans that I could bleach. Um, if you guys want to see that, I'm going to do the hearts on the jeans because obviously I did a TikTok, I'll show it over here, reviewing Adika jeans because none of them fit me and one of them came damaged and I was overall not impressed at all. So I decided I'm gonna make them myself. And obviously I've done that before with a different type of jeans. You can see over here, I did the Princess Polly jeans that were like a hundred bucks. I was like, I'm not paying for that. So I got some more jeans and these were I think $2.99. I got these for really cheap, but I, I think Rustler's like really good. And these are also 36 by 30. A little bit darker than I would like, but I have found that it's almost better to do darker jeans if you're gonna bleach them because you can really see the contrast of the designs of the bleach. And I'm also gonna pop up the other things I wanna do to my jeans. I wanna try the like um, stitching, super cute. I have a ton of string from Friendship Bracelets because I was a camp counselor, you know. I just got a sewing machine. So there's a lot of things I wanna try, but I'm gonna show you what the dream outfit looks like on. Okay, one minute. Okay, first up, the jeans are so snatched, you could literally never, ever tell me different. Are you kidding? All right, this is the fit. This color. So I actually styled this over here. I'm gonna pop up what I did. I took a bunch of pics, but this fit fulfilled every Pinterest dream I ever had. Sorry, this jacket makes a lot of noise. <laughs> But I'm thrilled that I found it because like it's so cute and if I did want to layer it's like really It's pretty big, but it's so cute and cozy. Also, it's very lightweight So I'm not like sweating my other red one that I had when I was traveling and it was cold I was like sweating underneath it because it was so firmly padded So I'd prefer also I'm a very like warm-blooded person. So even if it's cold, I'm usually hot inside So a lightweight jacket is always my go-to Now I'm gonna show you the full fit all right, so the jeans are iconic. I'm like obsessed with the color. I just think these are overall so good. They're the perfect length. We've got the kicks. Yes, ma'am. Oh, 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 oh. Do a little dance to dance. And overall, this fit, like, I think in my, what did I wear it with in my other, oh, I wore like bleach jeans. But this is just like super cute and I'm like obsessed with this jacket. And for the price, I'll do it all day long. All right. Thank you. Well, I forgot to film an outro, but thank you guys so much for coming back and watching another video and for subscribing to my channel for all the comments last week. Thank you guys for coming back. I missed you. It was such a long awaited return back to YouTube, but I'm so grateful and excited to be back and to have all of you along on the journey. So go turn on my post notifications because I have a new fun video coming on Saturday of next week and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. Thanks. Bye.